Yes, sir. After Chitra Lalita Mataji, we have Vaikuntu Vila Sini Mataji and then Kalyani Radhika Mataji. Hare Krishna. So, um, um, okay, there. So, um, I don't know what I'm going to speak, but yeah, uh, there are lots of memories, and um, though I was not prepared, but uh, there are too many memories that reel into the mind when we see her. What I've attended, so everybody is speaking about, yeah, she's got wonderful qualities as a devotee and she, she has such a wonderful service attitude. For me, uh, basically, uh, I had met her when I had just been in Krishna Kunj. We were just married. And I, I had absolutely no idea of how do you manage a house. And I had never done anything at home before marriage. And then Varsha Mataji, she one day walks in and then she sees the house and then she, she, she gauges that she knows nothing. And then she starts telling me and all about that we start hosting a program, weekly program also. And then for every little thing, she keeps telling me, Chitra Lalita, isko aise karna hai, isko aise nahi karna hai. So, with that patience that she taught me so many things, I, I, I just can't forget all that. And the relationship that we shared, so for me, she was not a senior devotee or somebody, but then she was somebody who was hand-holding me with many, many things. So for very little, little things, she used to guide me, be it in devotional life, be it in household life, be it in married life. And the best part was that whenever she spoke, she spoke with so much of experience of everything. And with every little thing, the way she always wanted perfection. Like I remember that I have no create, as in uh, no inclination towards creativity, zero. She used to tell me, come, we'll make jewelry. I was like, jewelry? Okay. Then she used to tell me, isko aise karna hai, isko aise karna hai. And I used to just follow what she used to say. Or usme na, at times she used to make designs. Because first she used to try what to make. So she used to be, you know, she used to sometimes start at 8 o'clock. 9.30 when I used to go, she's like, Chitra Lita, ye banaya hai. Ye kaise lag raha hai tumko? I was like, achha lag raha hai, wonderful. Ye thik nahi lag raha hai. Wait. We will do something else. And she will remove the entire thing, which would have taken her some two hours to make. Then she used to make something else. And then she's like, ye kaise lag raha hai? Then I used to like, abhi to dusri baar banaya na, ye to best hai. Abhi to ye, ye hi final karenge. But then again, she used to be like, Ki nahi, nahi, I think, no, this can be a little more better. So when she used to see at the jewelry, you know, she, I don't know what she used to imagine. Sometimes she used to just imagine that this pile na pair mein kaise lagne wali hai Krishna ke. Nahi achhi lagegi. She used to say something like that. And I am just looking at that pile. I don't know what is the problem with that pile. I, I used to just not understand. But the only thing I'm trying to say is that every time I used to feel that where is she? Which world is she? What is she really imagining? Where is she and what is she seeing? Is she really seeing this jewelry on Radha and Krishna? What is she doing? And then when she used to decide on something and then she used to tell ki haan, ab isko hum banayenge. And then with the sincerity and then she used to be a taskmaster. She's like, ab isko aise hi banana hai, perfection ke saath hona chahiye, within this time limit hona chahiye. Ye festival pe dena hai, raat bhar jagenge, but morning mein mangla arte ye pohachana hai. So this was her dedication and almost for every festival it was the same. Nursing Chaturdashi ho, uh, Gaur Pornema ho, whole night, come, we will make, we have to give it tomorrow morning. So I think that was her patience, her perfection and her love that she could actually get things done from anybody and bring them to that level. This is a beep cat to end. Achha. Sorry. And then, uh, apart from this, uh, just the way we used to make jewelry, so then there was one day, 
when we were making jewelry and she told me chitra lagta mujhe na yahan thoda sa pain hota hai so i think there is something hurting me so i was like what do you mean by something hurting dikhana chahiye na doctor ko let's go she's like ki yeah yeah i i will go to the doctor then there is time that is passed by then one evening again when we making jewelry she's telling me oh i got it tested so i was like okay it's cancer and then i had no words i was down seeing something that i was making i think it was a pile i i didn't know what should i say so i i was stunned i i was dumbstruck i i i had nothing to speak so for another 15 20 minutes it's complete monum she is not speaking anything because she also understands what she speak spoken and i am also doing nothing and then after that i just picked up the pile and i came down home and then i dropped her a message late night because i couldn't sleep so i just dropped her a message something that we had discussions earlier so basis that i had dropped her a message and she was like i will be all right don't worry so she was so strong that she was like i will be all right why are you bothering so much don't worry everything that i had committed to you she used to tell me ki ha asi i will train you ekdam perfection household work mein in fact we had discussions that i will train your daughter also matlab aise karke so then i could remember all that and i wrote it in the message that what did you commit and what the hell are you saying now and then she was like i will do all of that so don't worry so that was her message and then obviously she didn't want to tell it to many people so uh, we went to the hospital she got operated and all and then waha pe again there was a time when her cousin one of the cousins had come so obviously whenever she has to speak she has to speak about krishna only so there also when uh, she was a little better now uh, operation is done the surgery is done and whatever has to be removed has been removed and now she is little conscious able to speak so then when her cousins used to come she used to talk to them about krishna because they used to ask what are you doing so she used to say yeah we have all these sessions and things like that and then uh, one of her cousins no she showed little interest so then um, she was like yeah you should read books and things like that and then uh, both of us were looking at each other because we wanted to give her a book because abhi otherwise we will not meet her again that is what varsha mata ji felt so i had taken a book to the hospital to read so which had little notes also so i just told her why don't you take this and you read it so i gave it to her cousin the moment her cousin left the way her face lit up she felt as if she had come to the hospital to just distribute that one book and then absolutely no pain wo surgery hua kuch hua matlab she she is not under that mood only that i am a patient now she is feeling no i am a warrior i have come here for book distribution so her consciousness wherever she was was very different something which is not ordinary and then obviously the way we know that her health deteriorated later again there were many many things that we can i i can talk about but then obviously i don't want to but then yeah uh, for me mata ji i have learned a lot there are many things that i have done only because she wanted me to do in services and i don't know if i will ever do those things again because now she doesn't want me to do one last thing i think when we discussed about jewelry was that she we discussed about a pile of tulsi for krishna so but we couldn't make that so maybe that is one little thing that i will try doing i don't know when but i will try doing for her pleasure hari krishna thank you so much chitralalita mata ji and now i request uh, वैकुंठ विलासिनी माता जी एंड देन कल्याण निरधिका माता जी